Hi guys, welcome to the second video lecture on application of KNN algorithm in a classification setup using R. However, before we go to the program, there are a couple of issues that I wanted to talk about. First, the data set that we'll be using comes from real world business. And as it happens in real world business scenarios, features or variables are mostly continuous or, or categorical in nature. I would like to show you a way to transform the <clears throat> categorical variables into continuous variables. And towards the later point of this discussion, I'd like to provide some simple explanation of the most important accuracy measures that we usually use in classification. Regarding the housekeeping details, in case you haven't gone through the theory as yet, please go through the hyperlink over here. The codes that uh, we have uh, over here are uh, in Dropbox and I would like to provide the uh, uh, hyperlink of Dropbox in the video description. And lastly, the packages that I use are car, Amelia, CAS, Dataset and Carrot. In case you haven't installed these packages into your computer as yet, please remove this hash sign over here and run this line of code to install the packages into your computer. So let's get started with the uh, data. The data set I will be consider considering comes from the CAS data set package and the specific data set I will be using is the US expense. So let's run this piece of code to uh, bring the data set into my current directory. I also assign US data set to a, to, to a mother data set to, that I call m.data. So let's look at the dimension of m.data. So m.data would have 384 rows and 15 columns of feature variables. So let's look at the structure of m.data. So as you can see, mother data has these uh, uh, features or variables that are company name, group, mutual, stock, and, and these other ones uh, are the rest. Also company name is a factor. Right now group, mutual, stock are integers and the rest are numeric variables. However, uh, stock, uh, a stock co company is basically denoted as 1 and a non-stock and listed company is denoted as 0 and the same thing follows for mutual and group. So basically they are binary in nature and at a later point of time we would like to transform these uh, these these variables that are right now integers into variables. Also let us have a look at the mother data of how it looks like. So this, as you go towards the right, you will find that the uh, variables are mostly numeric and towards this left, group, integer and stock uh, is right now uh, integer, mm, a group, group, mutual, sorry, group, mutual and stock is right now integer. Uh, the objective of this experiment is to find out whether we can predict a stock and listed company denoted by one from all of these other features over here. So let's proceed. Also let us have a look at the proportion, uh, at the proportion of stock and non-stock and listed companies. So the stock and listed companies are 68% and the non-stock and listed companies are 31.77%. Are the first thing that we do in data pre-processing is removal of the person identifier. Basically, company name is is a variable that would have no st statistical information in it, and we would like to remove it from the mother data. The function that I use is the subset function. I deselect the company name by using the minus company name. So let's look at the mother data once again. So you can see over here that the company name has been removed and the mother data right now starts with group. Next, let's, let's do a missing value treatment on our mother data. What I use over here is the Amelia package and a particular function in Amelia package called mismap that gives the overall structure of the missing data. So let's look at the overall structure of the missing data 
in our mother data so as you can see over here from the light shades in agent name that agent name would have a couple of missing values and what I try to do next is to remove these missing values using the complete cases function in R so what complete cases would do for me is it would scan through each and every row of mother data and if it hits one column in which uh, uh, at least one column in which it, it comes across a missing value it would remove that entire column so, and once it, when it does all the removal I call that complete data set as C dot data so let's run it and find out the dimension of the complete data so as you can see over here complete data right now has 365 sorry rows compared to uh, the mother data that had 384 rows so basically we had to do away with almost 5% of the data and so not a bad data set to still work upon with 95% of the data still remaining with us so let's now change the certain specific variables that were integers into factors so as I told you earlier group mutual and stock are right now integer variables and since these three variables are binary in nature so I have to transform them into uh, 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 into <clears throat> factors uh, so let's transform first the group and mutual into into factors so from the mother data uh, complete data set we consider only the first two variables group and mutual and I use the apply function to transform these two variables group and mutual into factors so you can see over here that they have been transformed into factors with two levels 0 and 1 now I create a dummy variables for these two variables group and mutual because KNN algorithm will not be able to handle the uh, the factor variables uh, inside it so I, I require to transform them what I use is I use the caret package and a particular function in that package that call, that's called dummy vars uh, uh, that easily helps me in transforming the factors in back into numbers so let's do that over here and finally let us look at the names of the of the final data uh, data that I have created so since group and and mutual had 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 two levels so they have been transformed into group 0 group 1 and similarly mutual 0 and mutual 1 also the stock variable is basically categorical in nature since it, it's a cl classification problem we are handling and we require to transform uh, it from integer to factor I do it using the as factor function in R now that now that the pre-processing has been done let us look at the modeling part what we are doing over here is we have already set a seat for uh, uh, to have the same results in the subsequent run so I have, I have set a seed of 100 and next we would be doing a indexing of our final data uh, so that we can have a random sampling between the test and the training data in the training data I keep 75% of my final data and in the test I will be keeping the rest 25% so I have de done a, a, a partitioning of my final data into training and test so this is how my training data looks like so it would have 274 rows and 16 columns and my test data would also have uh, 16 columns of course and 91 rows and let's also look at the proportionate, proportionate table of uh, the <clears throat> stock and non-stock in the training and, and test training would have 67.15% stock companies and uh, and zero would have uh, <clears throat> the non-stock companies are 32.84 and the similar ratio would also come up in the test data sets let's do an experimental setup what I'll be using over here is the leave one out cross validation and I'll 
I would also try to have a look into the algorithm as it runs. So I've used a verbose iteration of true. Now what I once I have to set up the experimental parameters, the next thing I would like to do is I would have try to have a KNN fit in which KNN would do a leave one out cross validation for a large number of values of K and for for the for the value of k in which the accuracy at which the accuracy is the greatest that would be shown so let's look at what knn fit would have in it so what we are trying to do over here is we are having a response variable of stock from the training data and the rest of the other variables in the training data goes over in the right that is shown over here the data of course would come from my training data and the method that I would be using is the is the KNN algorithm and uh, train control would would give me the would pull up these parameters over here into my fitting function also I am using uh, the pre-processing function of centering and scaling and I would have the tune length of 20 basically meaning that I'm looking over here with the tune length of uh, uh, into the granularity of the training so I have set it high at 20 so let's run this gain and fit function now that I have run my gain and fit it has to taken a 34.20 seconds on a 16 GB RAM machine and let us look at the output of gain and fit so you can see that for k is equal to 23 over here i'm i am having the highest accuracy of 87.22 percent with a corresponding kappa value of of 68 percent so, sorry it's it's 68 so and also let us look at the knn fit plot so you can see that at knn is at k value of 23 i have reached a predictive accuracy rate of more than 87 percentage and let's look at the knn predict right now so this is once i have done the knn uh, prediction you can see that i for the first value i have correct I have pre correctly predicted for the test of of, of well, the test value of stock one I predicted it's one but for the next one for a stock of zero I predicted it wrong basically meaning a misclassification there's the sec the third one is also a misclassification the fourth is a correct classification as it and and it goes on so lastly let us look at the confusion matrix so the confusion matrix would give me the predictive accuracy on the test set and this is what it looks like so i have overall uh, the the positive class that i have taken or rather uh, to put it in simple terms the uh, i would like to have a prediction for the stock listed company meaning one over here and the accuracy that I receive is over here of 84.62 percentage that is the overall accuracy and added to that the sensitivity over here is one meaning that for when there is an actual event how often does the classification model predict that it is an event so our event over here is one uh, and we have been able to fairly classify it uh, very well and the specificity is rather low at 0.53 or the specificity is 53.33 percentage what it means is when there is an actual non-event a non-event in our case is a zero or a non-stock enlisted companies how often does the model uh, classification model predict that it is a non-event so our model has not been very well in predicting it as a uh, as uh, as into a zero class and the kappa value over here is is 60 percent uh, 60 point six zero uh, sorry it's a point six meaning that it the, the best value we could have attained is one but however this is a fairly good classification with that we come to the end of this lecture thank you for your patience